What's up guys, welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. Woo. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna skip Cool Guy Friday for the week. So we could talk a little bit about lessons learned from the Ukraine situation. Uh, there's so much to dive into, so this might be a little bit of a longer video, uh, but we need to dive into this. But before we do, if you get any value out of these videos and out of this channel, uh, please do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, hit that subscribe button. It helps a lot. And if you can, let's try and get a thousand likes on this video. I appreciate it, guys. Um, it means a lot when you guys do that and show your support because you're helping us grow. And the more, gro more growth we have, the more we could accomplish uh, with our mission, which is to help people get selected. So that being said, there's a lot going on, a lot that we have to drop um, at the store. So we have a new website that's going to drop soon. We have the mentor program that's going to drop soon. Uh, it's given us an opportunity to mentor you guys one on one. And through group sessions, we have a I don't know if I should announce it yet, but I'm going to we're doing in the Houston area in June, we're going to do a uh, mentorship academy meetup. So if you want to meet the team, um, stay tuned, sign up for the email list. They'll be the first to know because we the email list, we tell everything first to you. Not only do you get monthly giveaways um, of you know free stuff every month in the email list, we tell them everything first. So that way they have the opportunity to sign up for stuff that we do. Uh, that way, if it sells out, they're the first to know. And then all our, our dedicated email list, because they're our crew, our people, um, they find out first. So go sign up for the email list. Tour knives are dropping soon. We got a new clothing line that's going to be dropping. Um, just so much cool stuff. And we have a ton of equipment. We're actually designing a new piece of equipment to help you guys train up for selection. Uh, a lot is a lot is in the works. I know it feels like we're kind of maybe a little stagnant, um, but trust me, a lot is in the works. So go sign up for the email list. Check out the store at the FNGAcademy.com. So that's... Let's talk about Ukraine a little bit. My audio is good. Let's talk about Ukraine. A lot of <clears throat> my voice is going, sorry, but I notice a lot of people when something happens, they, they reach out to the special operations community that's on YouTube and they ask them for their tips. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I just want to be honest with you guys. There's a lot of pressure when you ask about things like Ukraine and, and stuff like that, because there's pressure on us to know what's going on politically. And then once we put this out onto YouTube and it's out in the world, then we're up to criticism because we don't know everything. Like if I don't know politically, like uh, there's comments about things that are happening inside Ukraine. So people are giving Ukraine supporters a hard time. So it's like, I don't know everything politically. As a matter of fact, I try to stay out of politics as much as possible. However, what I'm assuming that you guys want to know from me when you ask me my opinion, is tactically. You guys know I'm a Green Beret. I'm not a politician. Um, and I'm not that guy that's going to have a fucking opinion on everything, right? And that I know everything. And let me tell you how it's going to work. And this is how it's going to go down because I'm the shit and I'm the man and I know it all. I don't. I don't know shit about shit. I don't know things about a lot of things. Um, and anybody who tells you and it comes off like they know a ton about everything, you got to watch those people, man, because they will fucking lie to you because they don't want to look like an asshole and be like, and say, I don't know. They don't, they would rather lie and save face than just tell you the truth and be like, I don't know. So I figured this Friday video, I would jump on and just talk about Ukraine, but from a tactical perspective, because that's my, if you guys are going to listen to me in any, for any reason, it would be based on my past experience as in the military and as special operations, you would want a tactical, uh, breakdown of it, right? So I'm going to do that a little bit. So it's kind of like lessons learned. And here's why I think that's so important is the things that we're learning from Ukraine is, first of all, that uh, everybody's skill set matters. I, I guarantee you ask the Ukrainians right now, every special operations Ukrainian um, is worth his weight in gold right now, right? So everyone's experience matters, whether you're, you know, especially former special operations people, because now former special operations people are having the option to go to Ukraine and help them out. Uh, yes, I've considered it. No joke. I've had this conversation with the team where we're in the group chat. Like, you guys want to ride? Let's roll. Uh, the wives weren't so happy about that decision. But uh, we were 
kind of gearing up, man. Not not even joke. Like we would like to go get back in it. So it's crazy to to see how former special operations suddenly out of nowhere could become an asset for another country. The point is, Ukraine's teaching us should be teaching us some valuable lessons. And one, that's the importance of guerrilla warfare. It's important to, of communication, to create plans, to uh, coordinate with freedom fighters and the people that are going to support you and the ones that are going to show up. So as my team is briefly talking about we should go, think of the issues that we have to deal with. One, we can't bring weapon systems, right? So we have to find where to get our weapon systems. We need to link up with somebody that knows what's going on on the ground. If you just show up thinking, I'm a Green Beret, I'm going to show up and save the world. We've seen that play out and <laughs> it doesn't go well. You Green Berets need to realize the amount of support that comes from the U.S. is exponential. So if you just think that you're a fucking one man hero and you're going to go save the world on your own back, you're an idiot. You're going to go over there. You're going to have no comms with anyone. You're not going to know the good guy from the bad guy. You're not going to know uh, the streets, the movements. You're not going to know where the ammo link up points are, where the uh, fighting front is, uh, what you could wear to disguise yourself as a civilian. You're not going to know shit about shit. You're going to be walking in there and potentially get shot at by the guys you're trying to help because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And you don't know, you're not cued in. You're not tied into the front and what's going on. So these things are important to identify. So if we ever needed to defend our own country or to go over to another country to help. Uh, recently, Russia attacked a news station. I, this is what I heard is like five people were killed when Russia attacked one of the Ukrainian news stations. Obviously, guys, did you not see our breakdown of Red Dawn? Have you not seen Red Dawn? You're going to want to attack communication points. The enemy is going to want to do two things. First of all, they're going to want to stop you from communicating, sending code, uh, because communication is everything. In order to coordinate all the attacks, in order to coordinate your guerrilla warfare, you need comms on a large scale. One group is going to have a hard time uh, taking out blocking roads, doing harassing fire, they're not going to be as effective if, as if you get everyone on the same page. Hey guys, everyone does uh, coordinated uh, harassing fire. We put vehicles in the roads. We use people that can blend in that don't know how to fight. We use them for intel gathering. We have them you know, dress up and then go walk the streets, just being the gray man, not standing out. And collecting intel on where the forces are, how many of them there are, what trade routes, what routes they're using uh, to access their ammunition supply, their food, where's their food coming in from? Like all that stuff is good intel. Someone could be doing that. So the point is, comms are everything. But then there's two another reason that Russia probably went after the the communication of um, the Ukrainians. <clears throat> And that's because everyone expected that Russia would just run in and just destroy Ukraine and they would have it like that. Uh, and Ukraine said, fuck that, ain't going to happen. The fact that the Ukrainians are still fighting this front is amazing. They're doing amazing. So likely Putin wanted to take out the media to stop them from uh, spreading uh, morale and lifting morale in the Ukrainians because Ukrainians are essentially winning this war. And I know that's a weird thing to say, like, like, book, how are they going to win? How think about what they need to win. They need time. They need time for the rest of the world to start making decisions. Ukraine needs time. That's their biggest thing. They don't need to win this war by beating them. They need to win this war by holding out as long as they possibly can from by holding out until uh, sanctions start actually having effect on Russia um, until other countries start realizing like this is drawing on too long. Like we have to do something. They're holding out for all these things to start taking place. So Russia, P Putin doesn't want to be in there for that long. So the best thing that Ukraine could do is to keep this harassment going up and to keep standing their ground and to slow them down as much as possible to create as much time. And they're doing that pretty successfully. So Putin wants to take out the news so then he's not they're not 
showing and talking about their wins and their victories and hyping people up and encouraging them to fight more. He'd rather feel them feel like Russia's knocking down their doors and is going to kill them at any second than to think that the their freedom fighters um, and their forces are actually standing a chance. So morale is everything. So there's two reasons to take out the comms and go to the, the news sites. But point is, I just want to talk tactically a little bit about the Ukraine situation because it's it's crazy. We're all listening to it. We're all trying to figure out what's going on. But at the end of the day, Ukraine is fucking doing a great job, man. I mean, they are holding off Russia. They're showing the world that Putin is not this big, scary beast that everybody thought he was. He's just a dude. He's just a dude that's trying to expand and still play in the confines of what he can get away with. And that makes him human, and that is going to ruin his reputation. So Ukraine alone is standing up to Russia. Our mission here with the FNG Academy, it just goes to show to me how important it is because we need as many special operations people to join as much as possible. We need as many of you guys to be trained as Green Berets as possible. Not lowering standards, but as many of you should be trying to get this training to serve your country, but then also to be able to defend your own families, your own people in the event that something like this were ever to happen to us. There's power in education, there's power in knowledge, and there's power in the experiences. And you realize quickly when something like this happens that there's only so many Green Berets and Rangers and Navy SEALs um, and CAG and all these special operations units, uh, 11 Bravos, infantrymen, um, you know, paratroopers. There's only so many forces, right? So there's only so many people that have to that are going to be able to spread that knowledge uh, throughout the rest of the country if we ever have to defend ourselves. So I think it's super important now more than ever that more people want to join special operations, that, that we give them the ability, we help them, we encourage them, we help you get selected. So that way you are getting that knowledge and you are bringing it to the rest of society when you decide to move on from that career. So. Don't mean to, you know, jump on a soapbox. And guys, don't listen to anything. I say, like, I'll probably say some stupid shit in this where people are like, that doesn't make any sense. I told you, I don't know a lot of stuff, man. I'm just talking from my experience. But if anything, this just validates our mission to help the next generation become special operations as much as they want to, as much as possible, and increase their chances of getting selected. Because I'll feel safer knowing that more Green Berets are around more special operations communities exist within our country and that if we're ever needed here or somewhere else, they're going to be there to have our backs. We're going to be able to unite. We're going to work on comms. We're going to get connected. We're going to make plans and we're going to defend ourselves. And we are going to give anyone that tries to come after us hell that they have never seen before. All right, guys, I hope I didn't say too much stupid stuff again. You know, I failed 10th grade. Just remember that that master's degree behind you is uh, organizational leadership. It's not it's not anything historical or difficult in any way, shape or form. So that's what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you still want to go special operations because we need you. All right, guys. Talk to you next time. What's up, guys? Sean Buck Rogers here from the FNG Academy. You ever find yourself balls deep in a workout and you're just not feeling it? Can't get that one more rep in. Can't get that extra mile. Sluggish. Feeling like crap. You ever think that because you look like shit and perform like shit? Maybe we need to get you into the right gear. Let's check out some FNG Academy gear and what it does for people and their performance. What the f is that? That's what I'm talking about. What the f is this? That's more like it. No rep. No rep. <laughs> what the f No rep. What a waste. One, two, Three. Now that's what the f I'm talking about. All right, 
right guys, now you see the difference between when you look good and when you look like shit. So make sure you head over to the FNGacademy.com pick yourself up some swag. Make sure you sign up for the email list because we're doing monthly giveaways. Ready? Uh.